Monday the 26th of December 2022. It's Boxing Day, so hope we've all had a good Christmas. Um, today's trip is Mansfield. And yeah, it's going to be my first game watching Northampton Town home and away for nearly four months after the infamous trip to Swindon where some lads thought it funny to shove me over. And with me, with my hernia and a stoma bag, it was not fun. I actually pulled a load of muscles and very nearly had to go into hospital for an operation. Lucky enough, they managed to sort it out. And yeah, so I'm driving today because, you know, it's Boxing Day. There's no trains anyway. And so I've got to go from here. Well, after visiting the parents quick. Pick Graham up in Findon, and it's a trip down the A14, up the M1, and into Mansfield. And we're planning to park near the station, so let's see how it goes. Greeting, just packed up in Victoria Street car park for £2.50 for the next four and a half hours, so just about to walk down to the ground. Make sure the car's locked. Yeah. And there's Mansfield train station. All right, yeah. First game in four months for me. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, wherever, mate. As long as, as, there now, I, don't long as I don't get shoved over again, like I did at bloody Swindon. Yeah. Feels down there. Yeah. You know it's quite upside when I think it's upside.
Super Sammy Oskin saves us. Diabolical game for us, really. You know, they had one shot on goal and they scored. We had about five or six, couldn't put it in the back of the net. But luckily, as I said, Sam Oskins pops up and scores an absolute worldie. Yeah, we'll take the point. I'll take that for my first Cops game in four months. But there you go. Right. Now to prepare for the trip back and then report later.
Greetings. It's about 20 to 9 on Monday the 26th of December 2022, Boxing Day. I've been home from Mansfield about three quarter of an hour to an hour. Um, yeah, good day overall. You know, started off, thought, got it this morning, thought, do I really want to go? Because, uh, uh, you know, the trouble I had at uh, Swindon, where I got shoved down a flight of stairs, or shoved over in the, shoved over my row, and uh, the little chaps near me thought it was rather funny, and uh, that knocked my confidence for six, especially when you're like me, you've got a stoma bag and a hernia, which means it's a problem getting back up again, but hey ho. Yeah, I set up about 10 o'clock this morning from home here in Peterborough, uh, pop to see the parents quick and then down to find him to pick up Graham and then up the A14, up the M1, um, hit a bit of traffic around Leicester and then off a bit further we come off I think Junction 27, hit the, six, the A608 and follow that cross crossing across Mansfield. Um, pulled into I think it's Victoria Street car park about five past one. And parked in there, it was £2.50 for, for four hours. Can't beat it. And it was literally a two minute walk around, well, two or three minute walk around the corner to the Burger King on the ground. So that's what we did. So parked up, walked around the corner. Thought, well, we'll go and get our tickets first, just in case they do sell out. So picked them up, and they were 24 quid, I think. And then, yeah, walked back and got us something to eat in Burger King. Had that and about five past two, meandered literally just up the road into the end of the ground. You know, the obligatory bag search, but you know, that was fairly quick. Um, got our seats right at the back near the start, and I found a not ideal seat right in the middle of the top of the stairs, so that's fine with a big gap so I can stand in that gap out of the way, and the little bastards can shove past if they want to, and I'm perfectly safe, which is what I did. So, filmed a the warm ups and everything, and the team's coming out fine. First half, we could have took the lead a couple of times, but you know, Mansell didn't have any shot on target at all. Um, come to half time, and I thought, yeah, do I, do I want to go and get something to eat? I thought, no, I can't be bothered. I'll just nip down for a pee. So that's all I did. Nip down, had a pee, come back, and. Mooched around, thought, yeah, we'll take a point here, be nil nil. So, yeah. And then, is it Apparate? No, Apparate, I forget his name though. The lad who come on, Etete, come on for Cobblers, and he had a shot and it skipped them up the post and thought, yeah, this ain't going to be our day, we're going to take a nil nil here. Mansfield went straight to the end, had one shot on goal and scored in the 85th minute. And we're thinking, yep, yeah, this is typical cobblers. Run the game, you know, literally edge the game, most of the game, and then concede. 
So we're thinking, oh God, here we go. And of course, all the little chavs are dancing to the right of us and trying to get to us from Mansfield. I thought, oh God, that's all we need to go get back to the bloody car. Anyway, two minutes later, Mitch Pennant gets the ball, whips it in, and uh, Super Sammy Hoskins equalises. We go absolutely ballistic in the stand. All the little chavs are now trying to climb back over the partition to get back into the Mansfield bit. We're giving them all the bird, and we're, yeah, we've equalised. Ha ha. So, yeah. Game finishes. It's literally down, down the stairs. Turn right out of the ground. Walk towards the Bird King, round the back of the Bird, round the back of the what used to be Frankie and Benny's, which disappointed me because I do like my uh, Frankie and Benny's Arabata pasta. That was shut. That's been shut for months, according to the bloke in Burger King. So I can get another one. There's one local. There's a couple of local to me anyway. So yeah, up, oh, up. Oh, well, don't go up the ramp, but you walk around sort of like down the little ramp towards the the bypass, and you go under the railway, up the ramp the other side and you're in the car park so we were literally in the car 10 minutes after kickoff or sorry, 10 minutes after full time in the car and graham was in the car getting all his stuff ready i just went out and gave the white windows a quick wipe over because they got all covered in crap on the trip up we set off and i must have dropped graham for about seven o'clock ish and i left finding there yeah five past ten past seven Shot back to um, to Peter, but I popped in to see the parents quick before I got. And then I got my guy about eight o'clock ish, and doing this, and then that's it. So yeah, this year just a quick summing up of the day. I don't know where my next game is going to be because um, I don't think I'll be doing um, Salford. Because we're live on telly for Salford, so I won't be going to that. Uh, I might go to Stockport, but I've got to look into that because I might have to drive because the trains are on strike again. And I don't know if I can get a train from Nottingham or a train from Rugby. And if I do, they're both going to be bloody expensive like they always are. So if there's a blog for Stockport, it'll be up in two or three weeks' time. So we shall see. Anyway, I'm signing off. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and uh, yeah, good day overall.